Welcome back to our channel. In this video, we're going into the story of Tesla's first Gigafactory and how it came to be what it is today. This is a saga of ambition, innovation, and a bold attempt to revolutionize the electric vehicle industry. Here's a deep dive into its history. In the early 2010, Tesla was making waves with its electric vehicles like the Roadster and the Model S. These sleek, high-performance cars were a testament to the company's innovative spirit. However, a significant obstacle loomed on the horizon, and that is battery costs. Traditional lithium-ion batteries, the workhorses of early EVs, were expensive. Their high cost significantly impacted the overall price of Tesla vehicles, making them out of reach for many consumers. These batteries also had limitations in terms of range. Early EVs were often plagued by range anxiety, where drivers worried about running out of power before reaching their destination. Elon Musk, Tesla's visionary CEO recognized that battery costs were a major hurdle to widespread EV adoption. He believed that a radical approach was needed. And that's where the idea for the Gigafactory was born, a massive factory dedicated solely to battery production. This audacious concept aimed to achieve several goals, one of which was economies of scale. By building a giant factory and producing batteries in vast quantities, Tesla hoped to bring down the cost per battery cell significantly. The second goal was vertical integration. Traditionally, car companies relied on external suppliers for batteries. The Gigafactory would allow Tesla to control more of the production process, potentially leading to greater efficiency and cost savings. Fast forward to November 2013. Elon Musk sent shockwaves through the automotive industry with a groundbreaking announcement, the Gigafactory. This wasn't just any factory. It was a revolutionary concept for a massive facility dedicated solely to battery production. The sheer scale and ambition of the project were unprecedented. This announcement of the Gigafactory was a game changer. Here's why. The Gigafactory challenged the traditional model of car manufacturing. By bringing battery production in-house, Tesla aimed to achieve significant cost reductions and greater control over the EV production process. The announcement signaled Tesla's unwavering belief in the future of electric vehicles. It demonstrated their commitment to overcoming the battery cost hurdle and making EVs more accessible. But there was uncertainty and skepticism. Despite the excitement, critics questioned the feasibility of such a colossal undertaking and whether Tesla had the resources and expertise to pull it off. Tesla understood that building the Gigafactory and revolutionizing battery production wouldn't be possible alone. This is where the strategic partnership with Panasonic came into play. Panasonic, a global leader in battery technology and manufacturing brought crucial expertise to the table. Panasonic is a Japanese multinational electronics corporation headquartered in Kodoma, Osaka. The company was founded in 1918 by Matsushita Konosuke and was originally known as Matsushita Electric Industrial Corporation. It's a household name with a long and rich history in consumer electronics. They had a proven track record in lithium-ion battery production, and possessed valuable knowledge about cell design, materials science, and manufacturing processes. The partnership involved co-development and co-investment in the Gigafactory. This shared approach reduced the financial burden on Tesla while allowing Panasonic to leverage its expertise in a rapidly growing market. The partnership was mutually beneficial. Tesla gained access to Panasonic's technology and manufacturing know-how, while Panasonic secured a foothold in the burgeoning EV battery market. It was a bold gamble that, if successful, had the potential to reshape the automotive landscape. It is a powerful endorsement of our technology that Panasonic, the world's leading battery cell manufacturer, has chosen to partner with Tesla to advance electric vehicle performance and value, Tesla co-founder and CEO Elon Musk said. He added, Incorporating Panasonic's next-generation cells into Model S batteries will ensure unrivaled range and performance. We are very grateful for our great partnership with Panasonic. Panasonic will supply lithium ion cells for EVs that can achieve longer range with large energy density. It is our pleasure to start supplying the cells for Tesla's Model S and promote sustainable mobility, said Masato Ito, president energy company of Panasonic Corporation. This agreement builds upon a multi-year collaboration between Panasonic and Tesla to develop next-generation automotive-grade battery cells and accelerate the market expansion of electric vehicles. Moving forward, after the partnership with Panasonic was established, the question remained, 
where would this colossal factory be built? Tesla embarked on a nationwide search, meticulously evaluating nearly 100 locations across North America. A few key factors influenced Tesla's decision. Firstly, a core principle of the Gigafactory was sustainability. Tesla sought a location with access to abundant renewable energy sources like solar and geothermal power, minimizing the factory's environmental footprint. And secondly, building and operating a facility of this scale required a skilled workforce. Tesla looked for a location with a strong pool of engineers, technicians, and production personnel to staff the Gigafactory. After a comprehensive evaluation process, Tesla settled on a site near Reno, Nevada in September 2014. This location ticked all the right boxes. Nevada boasts some of the highest solar radiation levels in the U.S., perfect for solar power generation. Additionally, Nevada's state government actively courted Tesla, offering tax breaks and incentives to make the project a reality. This demonstrated their commitment to attracting innovative companies and fostering economic growth. With the location finalized, construction of the Gigafactory began in earnest in 2014. The sheer scale of the project was mind-boggling. Here are some staggering statistics. The Gigafactory was designed to be five times larger than a typical car factory. Its initial footprint exceeded 5.4 million square feet, with plans for further expansion in the future. Tesla aimed for an ambitious timeline. Construction crews worked tirelessly to ensure the Gigafactory was operational as soon as possible. If you put the building on its side, it's taller than the Burj Khalifa, that's to scale. Yet, while Burj Khalifa took six years to build, construction teams completed the build of Giga Texas in its entirety in less than two years. Going ahead, after years of planning and construction, the Gigafactory finally opened its doors in July 2016. It was a momentous occasion, not just for Tesla, but for the entire EV industry. The Gigafactory's grand opening marked a significant milestone in the quest for sustainable transportation. The Gigafactory's impact was immediate and far-reaching. Battery production ramped up significantly, exceeding initial targets. This led to a crucial change, a dramatic drop in battery costs. This cost reduction allowed Tesla to introduce the Model 3, a mass-market electric car with a lower price point. The Model 3 became a game-changer, attracting a broader audience and significantly boosting Tesla's sales. The Gigafactory wasn't just about achieving economies of scale and reducing costs. It also became a hub for research and development, fostering advancements in battery technology. Tesla's first Gigafactory, born in the Nevada desert, stands as a testament to the company's audacious vision and unwavering commitment to electric mobility. It revolutionized battery production, reduced costs, and paved the way for more affordable and accessible EVs. That's all we have for today. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we will see you in the next video.